Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So it seems like we got a new operation, or I guess you could just say a rebrand. Although I would say it's essentially new because it comes with new rewards. And that's what we're going to be talking about right now. So over on Twitter, Serezio discovered this thing called Season 7 Anvil. And I guess he was thinking we're, we were going to get like some kind of season or something. Or, you know, we were getting something is what it seemed like. Something called Anvil. And so Grunt API went ahead and responded to this. And apparently it is not like a new season or anything like that it is actually just a spartan surplus stuff so it seems like the next operation that we're going to get is no longer going to be called spartan surplus but it's going to be called anvil now here's where it gets a little confusing because over here we can see the image shows all the stuff that i revealed before in my last video all the spartan surplus rewards you could see them all here in this picture but over on the silex guide it did get updated to be called anvil and there's also new rewards that completely replace the previous ones that i showed before and that's what we're going to be breaking down to Today. I don't know if this is going to be the official pass now, which is really odd because they hardly ever do this where they literally completely change the whole entire operation. So we're just going to treat this operation as Operation Anvil and we're going to be breaking down the rewards for it. If it changes to this one or the other one, at least now you know what we could have gotten or at least one of these will be right. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so on the first tier for the Anvil operation, we got the Blades and Barbs emblem pack, which was in the previous one for Spartan Surplus. And this time around, we can actually see how many Spartan points each tier is going to offer which i'm just going to quickly breeze through because it pretty much just follows the same format as the last operations in terms of like how many spartan points you get for each tier so for the second tier you get 500 spartan points the third tier you get another 500 for the fourth tier you get a thousand spartan points and onto the fifth tier is the first new item and that is the asylum knee pad and for the 6th tier, we got 500 Spartan points. For the 7th tier, we got 500 Spartan points. 8th tier, we got 1,000 Spartan points. And the ninth tier, we got 2,500 Spartan points. Now for the 10th tier is our next actual cosmetic, which is the Asylar Belt. On the 11th tier, we got 500 Spartan points. On the 12th tier, we got 500 Spartan points. On the 13th tier, we got 1,000 Spartan points. On the 14th tier, we got 2,500 Spartan points. On the 15th tier, we got our next next cosmetic which is the asylum heart plate on the 16th tier we got 500 spartan points onto the next tier we got tier 17 which is a thousand spartan points and on the 18th tier we get a set of shoulder pads which is the asylum pauldron and of course you get it for the left and right shoulder and on tier 19 we get 2500 spartan points and for the final tier tier 20 we get the asylum helmet and its corresponding helmet attachment which is called mimic mask and yeah so basically they replaced all those tiers that we saw previously with the asylum armor set here which i think originally was supposed to be a shop bundle so it's kind of a mess right now i don't know if they're gonna stick with this operation pass or with the last one i mean they renamed it to anvil are they gonna rename it again and add new <laughs> rewards who knows at this point this is like the first time they've ever done this which is just really weird i guess they're just kind of struggling to see what they want to put in this pass or who knows maybe they got maybe they saw the feedback on the last set of items and we're like okay maybe we'll give them something better because if that's so you know people say leaks are bad but hey now, now we could give feedback a little early no but uh yeah i don't know we'll see what happens let me know what you guys think do you prefer this set of items or do you prefer the previous set of items which if you haven't seen i do have a video for it uh so definitely check that one out now this operation does start on july 2nd so it starts in like about a month or so so we're still quite away from it now in terms of the event playlist or the event map we kind of got surprised with the Tenrai 4 event because they did actually add a new map which was called Hanami or something like that and they actually did add in community made modes which was Juggernaut and Ninja Knot which I did not see coming so maybe we'll get surprised like that again with this new operation. I'm not keeping my hopes up because 343 have been very inconsistent when it comes to having themed event playlists for these operations and stuff like that. But uh, based on what we got last time, uh, I don't know, maybe there's a chance we'll get another community made forge map or possibly some of the maps that have been leaked. Because right now there's no information about it that has been leaked. So with that being said, consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.